Gainesville to take on this Florida team that is led by second-year head coach Urban Meyer. It's football in the SEC on CBS, South Carolina against Florida. take Florida field first. Gamecocks have gathered. Kick return problems. They have not had a special teams touchdown or a defensive touchdown all year, and that's why they have five drives of over 90 yards for touchdown. They've got nothing from their return teams. Joey Eos, number 98, will kick for the Gators. This is a South Carolina team that has played very well on the road. And the kick by Eos. Boyd at the goal line. No fumble here. Back to the 15. Knocked down at the 17. He's at home to Tennessee, Arkansas, Georgia, and Auburn. Auburn shocked today by Georgia. Oh, nice. Sidney Rice with the catch. Out to the fourth of play. Second and seven. Mitchell hit as he lets it go right side. It's caught by Mavlovich. What's your overall package? The backup is a freshman, Brandon Spikes. McKinley starts in motion. They hand it to Boyd, comes right. First carry in a couple of weeks. He uh, missed two days of practice prior to El go for it, apparently. Toss to Boyd, going left. It's close, the flag is down. And a player is injured. Looks like it might. Four wideouts. Four-man rush. They flip it out to Sidney Rice. One-on-one -on -one goes right by the corner. Ryan Smith, number 26. A gain of third and two. McKinley in motion. They slip it inside. That's going to be close. See where the spot looks like he's going to Two men wide left. Freddie Brown is wide right. They hand it off. Mike Davis surges toward the goal line. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Number 30, Earl Everett, is not in the football game. I said it was a big part of the game. Number 32 is true freshman. Sophomore from Hickory, North Carolina, who does place kicking and putting chores for the Gamecocks. Hammers this one home. Uh, PCS game. Well, it was a thrilling game. Rutgers now one of four remaining undefeateds in Division <laughs> 1. Deshaun Wynn is in. Goes left and has the first down. First and ten here. With... Leak pulls it back. That's Finally has to set. Oh, boy. Down to the 45. That was in. at the 46-yard line. 2.02 to go. Leak back. Little crossing pattern to Harvin. He reverses field. And he's to the 35. The clock will stop now. And five from the 30-yard line. Here's Leak pulling up. He's got a man open. That's the tight end, Cornelius Ingram, number seven. Nomer, you get the lineup like that all the time. First down and ten. Leak pumps. Goes back deep. Got a man open. Underthrown, but Baker has the catch.
He then spent a year at a high school in Massachusetts getting it wipes out a 55 yard gain. Handoff left side. That's Percy Harvin, number eight. Dallas Baker in motion. Whoa, bat snap. Leak gets it in his hands and takes the loss. Back to the 26 yard line. Yeah, and that was going to go to Deshaun Wynn that time. Number yeah. Leak steps up, pumps once. That's complete to Percy Harvin. Kid can fly. He's all the way to the 49 yard line. North Carolina, two wide receivers wide to the right. Leak looks deep, goes deep, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15 yard line by Stoney Woodson, number 36. And he is still running free. A flag is down inside the 20. And a player is down. Mitchell will throw. Fires it. Beauty. Caught. Flag is down. Catch is made at the 33-yard line by Kenny McKinley. Lewis and Smith go out to cover them, and they're both laying off. Here comes Smith on the blitz. It's picked up. Oh. And there's Boyd oh. inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Mitchell, quick setup inside. Tipped incomplete. Mike West, the intended receiver, that brings up fourth that 47 yards to give South Carolina the lead. Oh, that was perfect. The loudest he's ever had in his life, and very much appreciated. Now here's a run up the middle. Deshaun Wynn, Savelle Newton. Second down and 10. From the 40, a 10-7 South Carolina lead. Sweep. Caldwell comes right. Cuts it up to the 47, perhaps the 48-yard line. Here they've even trailed in the fourth quarter at home. New territory. Third and three. Leap goes left, pulls it up, fires it. Caught. Ingram. To the 25-yard line. And Savelle Newton again makes the tackle. Second down across the middle. There you go. Crossing route. There you go. Harvin to the 10. They're just short of the first down. Latsko goes left. Tebow goes left. Pulls up. Option play. Latsko can't get it. It's fourth down. Now what do you do? Well, I would kick a field goal. Red shirt senior from Leesburg. Now that crowd in the south end zone agrees with the decision. <laughs> Spikes has been in the game the whole time at linebacker. Play action for Mitchell. Back with a lot of time. Goes deep. He's got McKinley open. Perfect pass. And McKinley's out of bounds with the first down at the 30-yard line. Davis. High low at the 23-yard line. Aggressive, aggressive run. Second down. Mitchell back. Left side. Oh, wide open is McKinley. That had to be a blown coverage. You know. First and ten. Davis to the corner. Touchdown, South Carolina. That's the best called drive I've seen in 10 years in college football. Really? That was perfect. Every play call had a plan, executed. They knew exactly. Spawns with the tie-breaking touchdown. Suck up on. Blocked! Yeah. This can be returned. Pointer. Reggie Nelson is tackled. But, whoa, filed that one away. Jarvis Moss, number 95. Three men down for South Carolina. Leak has it. Hit. Escapes the tackle. He'll run. And he's going to be caught short. I'll bet you're right. Fourth and one from the 29. Tebow. Got it. He's like a train. So this might be the last time you get the ball if you're Florida. Leak. Crossing pattern. Whoa. It's Harvin. 
Tackle from behind. Great speed. I mean, somewhere in the vicinity of Alice Baker starts in motion, followed by Fred Bennett. Leak keeps it. How about this play? He had a 45-yarder against Alabama. This one not quite as far, but equally meaningful. Three with 4.34 to go. Here's Leak pulling it back. Going deep. Got a man in the end zone. Tipped away. Savelle Newton. Savelle Newton. South Carolina, three men down. They're going to drop eight. And Leak on a quarterback draw up the middle. Spins for the 12, I think. I think he got the first down. It's going to be within inches either way. Now that's the way you lay out when the game's on the line, Chris Leak. Again, three down for South Carolina. Tebow goes left to the five. Touchdown, Gators! Five for the lead. Perfect. Florida leads. The Meyer, he stood up there like the decision maker and made a good decision. Here's Mitchell back. Underneath pass is caught by Freddie Brown, number 82. The linebacker. Second and one. Mitchell. Nobody open. Comes now, somebody's open. Wow. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like that two man rush. Florida will blitz. Mitchell got it at the 31 yard line. Freddie Brown. What kind of pass left? Mitchell, quick setup inside. Freddie Brown at the 31 yard line. They'll run it all the way down, won't they? This will make it about a. Nothing you can do as a coach now. As they say, the haze in the barn. Scott Morgan, Ike Crowfoot, most significantly, Ryan Suckup involved for South Carolina on this play. It is blocked! Moss again! Jarvis Moss! Again! Urban Meyer is still not lost in the swamp. South Carolina still has not won in the swamp. And Florida's dreams of a berth in the BCS title game remain alive by a very slim margin. How about the margin of a six foot six defensive end who got look? Ryan Suckup, 48 yards for the lead. Jarvis Moss, 6'6, six, six, went about 8'6. Needed every inch of it the vertical, the long arms, and the height. Every inch of it. Urban Meyer's reaction just another day in the swamp. Although things are not quite as murky and muddy as they were 30 minutes ago. Well, just another average day in the SEC.